the people that we're looking at are people that have had a high risk exposure. So they have had conversations with medical directors and uh, administration and nurses at uh, several nursing homes that uh, have an interest in this. One of them is uh, experiencing the beginnings of an outbreak. So we think that's an appropriate place to hit it right there, sort of uh, trying to nip it in the bud. The vision I, I have is say you have a person who is going into a situation where they simply cannot social distance, but that is their job. They're a paramedic, they're a police officer, they're a poultry uh, industry worker. They need to go into that site. You don't know if other people around you are going to be infected. Can we blanket protect them? Not having a treatment is, is a terrible thing. And, um, and watching people die is, it's heartbreaking. It's scary and it's heartbreaking. And, and we just needed to find some hope. It's all good to be able to do something to help out, just knowing the pain that it, it really has brought to a lot of people. I think it's really important for uh, people to be able to donate if they have that ability because I, I know there are people that still definitely need the antibodies as well.